How does it feel uh, starting off a homestand, getting a win here? I know it's uh, been a little bit tough on the skid, and it seemed like guys are pretty in good spirits after that one. Yeah, it definitely feels good. We, uh, we were desperate and hungry for a win, um, and you, you could see that we, we came out pretty hard. And um, So, yeah, it feels nice to get back on the, on the winning ways. Does that desperation, um, is there a threshold where it sharpens your senses? For sure, and I think um, we can take, you know, that, that can be a learning lesson for us going through that as a team. And um, obviously it's very frustrating to be losing and, and not winning. So I think um, going forward we can take that lesson and, and use that hunger to, uh, to not let that ever happen again. What's, what's the mentality you have when you have a six-game win streak going to a five-game skid and you still come back day after day after day? What's the mentality going into each game? Um, I mean, you want to, for me, I want it to be the same. Obviously, you know, the, there can be times when that's more challenging than others, and obviously when you're losing, it's, it's a little bit more challenging to, uh, to play you the way that I want to play. Um, so, but, you know, it's, it's hockey and that's sports. You know, there's wins and losses, so you kind of just have to roll with the punches um, and, you know, we'll learn from it and get better. Roll with the punches at the first goal, uh, just kind of a bad bounce. For again, your mentality. What what is it after something like that happens? That's basically out of your control. Yeah, something. Like, I mean, yeah, just move on. You know, that, that kind of stuff happens. And uh, if we're gonna win games, we're gonna have to push through adversity. And if we weren't gonna want to be a good team, we're gonna have to push through adversity. And, and we did it tonight, and that's why we came out on top. Go ahead. I was gonna say, how nice is it that you know when that happens, something that's out of your control, a team you know responds by by getting another goal right afterwards. Yeah, that, that's huge. Um, we could have easily folded and. Um, you know, that, that's obviously a tough, a tough break for us, but uh, the guys came back and, and scored right away, and I think that helped everybody, uh, you know, get everyone going again, and so that was huge. On a night like tonight where younger players are put into newer situations, does that change your approach at all? Do you have to think the game any differently? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, my, my job is just to stop the puck and, um, you know, whatever is happening in front of me. Um, I just have to read off that and... and do my job to the best of my ability. The notion of a team playing for its goalie rather than with its goalie has come up recently. Do you feel like the team is playing for you tonight? For sure, and, and we're, we're a tight group. Every, everyone's got each other's back, and so um, I think um, you know, we're all playing for each other every night. Uh, so. Is it different some nights than others with how you're seeing the puck? Do you feel like some nights you're more focused in, other nights you're kind of fighting it? Like, is that something that you have to kind of pick up at the beginning of the game or how you're feeling? Um, I mean, so, some nights the games come easier than, than others, I guess. I think uh, probably every goalie would say that some nights, you know, the, the puck seems huge and it just seems to hit you. And um, some nights it's way smaller <laughs> than, in, uh, than it actually is. But, um, yeah, you just got to kind of, like I said, roll with it. And, you know, eventually the, the tables will, will turn and the tide will turn. And um, you just, it's kind of pushing through that adversity.